I was the uh, uh, not too obedient son, but my mother said, yeah, no, but he's, he's, he's a nice person. He likes animals. He, he's, he has good. Uh, Maybe your mother had the wisdom to know that obedience to her was not the perfect path for you. Exactly. Let's talk about obedience for a moment. It's a loaded word following impulse of source. Perhaps you could call that obedience, but obedience is usually a word that is more reserved for doing something that you really don't want to do because some human wants you to do it because your inner being will never demand cooperation from you. Your inner being will only shine a light on where you mean to go so that you can use your free will to follow that or not. But there's no obedience and therefore no punishment if that following doesn't take place. Yeah, good. Yes. So I've, I've been living a, a, a nice life. I mean, uh, um, I, I think um, most of the time I've, I've been following my, my, my feelings, my impulses, and I learned that. So the, the airtime that I give to my thoughts, good, good feeling thoughts, in average are, are uh, much, much higher than the other ones. Good. The, uh, the difficulties and everything else. Today, I, I look forward to, I, I look for good feeling thoughts and benefit in everything yeah so um uh so in general i feel good uh my, let me ask you one thing uh i have three kids two of them don't talk to me and i'm okay in this sense i'm okay in the sense that um, because you're not demanding obedience from them no i i don't no it's not the point the point is i i they don't talk to you they don't talk to me for whatever reason it's their reason yeah and i respect that and how do you feel about them? I feel love them. I love them. I love them and I so open any time so they want. So that's the best you can do. Yes. Yeah. So I feel good about the people around me. My, uh, my mother or my family, so they, they say, how come you are, you can live and have, uh, be happy. I mean, without your, your children. And yet there's a little contradiction here because your mother did not demand your obedience. Yeah. But what I mean is that uh, I, I, I try to, sometimes I, I try to say, well, mom, I, uh, I'm happy just to see them happy. And I, uh, trying to convince them or trying to go to them and convince them of whatever, or asking what was the problem is not going to make it. But whenever they are ready to talk to me, I'll be here. All right. So we want to talk to you about this in this relationship with these children who are not talking to you. Does it feel to you that there's any desire that has been born out of that? In other words, do you desire to talk to them? Sure. All right. So out of that experience, you've launched some desire that currently is different than what you're living. You would like to have a relationship with them that you currently don't have. Is that right? in good terms yeah we get that so you would like to have a relationship with them i think it's natural to have to know your grandkids and everything else well it's natural to love and it's natural to be loved and there are a lot of things that humans do and call normal that are really not normal to your connection in other words it's normal for people to be pretty hard on each other but that's not what your inner being chooses. And when you are hard on someone, you're not in full connection or even close to it, to who you really are. And so what we're getting at here is if you're living something different than what you really want or what's in your vortex, then that means you have something going on with your point of attraction that is not in harmony with your desire. So your words are saying, I would like a relationship with you come to me but your vibration must be saying don't come or you can't come or i can't get you to come so your observation of what is is actually in the way of what you want make sense so what might you do about that what could you do can you think of anything that you might do so that your vibration is more in harmony with what you want I don't make because you're not going to go there yet. And we, we really want you to. So we're going to stop you right here. We want you to own your vibration. We want you to acknowledge. I got a vibration going and my vibration that's going is mostly upon what I've been observing. 
so I made a very powerful statement my two children don't talk to me they don't talk to me that's a reality that is and your awareness of that reality is so frequent that you can't get what you want because you've got a frequent awareness of what is who are you hearing yeah. which is normal because what you've got is what you're observing and what you're observing is what you're offering vibrationally and what you're offering vibrationally is what you're getting and what you're getting is what you're observing and what you're observing is what you're but that's all beside the point the only thing that is the point is do you want something different than what you've got yes then the answer is you got to spend less time noticing what you've got and more time observing what's in your vortex you started out with perfect words to us as you acknowledged that you were different than your siblings but that your mother didn't demand sameness so we're asking that you don't demand sameness of your family or sameness of your children or sameness of yourself we're just asking that you do something sort of radical and different which is that you find good feeling thoughts mostly about them that have nothing to do with whether they talk to you or not this is the thing that's really interesting it feels to you like you're responding to them to their wishes but really it's never just you responding to them they're responding to you too everybody's vibrations are responding to everybody's vibrations so you can't do anything about what anybody else is vibrating but you have everything to do about what you are vibrating but you've got to acknowledge what you're offering vibrationally before you can do something different and so if you could just begin by saying I'm pushing them away at the same time I'm trying to call them to me and the way I'm pushing them away is by acknowledging that they're away that's all it is I'm not pushing them away I'm just noticing that they're away and my noticing that they're away doesn't let them in well what if you stopped noticing that they're away maybe you should stop talking to your mother because she's the one that's really noticing that and bringing it to your attention so when they're in your thoughts they're not away when you're loving them they're not away when you are acknowledging their value and their brilliance they're not away just understand this just start thinking of them as here not away it really helps when someone croaks <laughs> in this way when someone croaks you don't expect them to come to Thanksgiving dinner in that same way and so you can have thoughts about them without expecting things from them that they're probably not going to give you so we're asking you to adopt just for a little while a vibrational relationship with them almost as if they've made their transition adopt a vibrational relationship with them so that you don't have any of that resistance about what they are or are not doing and it is our promise to you that when your vibration changes they'll come right in now what you're a little worried about is when they get there they might argue with you or they might disagree with you or they might choose a different life than you're choosing you can work the kinks out of all of that you can become so inner being like that they will have no reason to resist you you can just love them unconditionally so much so that that's the singular vibration that you're sending out now it's going to take a little while because you've been everybody does you've been sending a vibration that you didn't mean to send for a while so there's some momentum that's still kind of in the way of them coming in but it's sort of like every step forward you spew this inky green mist and every step forward you spew a little more of it and every step forward you spew a little more of it so there's always inky green mist everywhere you go but at some point if you stop spewing it you'll walk out of it after a little while there won't be any more because if you don't keep spewing it there won't be any more so after a little while you won't be spewing the vibration that is keeping you from letting them in did you hear those words not keeping them out not making them make the decision to stay away from you after a little while you'll stop keeping them away you'll cease that and when you cease that they'll come in because they're not staying out on purpose they just can't buck your current and you're offering a current you don't even know you're offering because your desire is that you be with them you just don't realize that your own vibration is opposite of your desire to be with them I do realize that I, I have oh, yeah, some yeah. resistance I do realize yeah I don't know exactly what it this is, is a it doesn't really matter. good conversation are you following how many times are you 
wanting something from someone but expecting something different and getting what you expect rather than what you want and then blaming them for their stubbornness to only give you what you don't want instead of what you do want and you not taking any ownership for what you're offering vibrationally clarity clarity is one thing that i love clarity in my mind yeah. and 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 this is the kind of situation the conversation that i I'm, I'm looking for clarity in this in this context it feels like clarity in your mind but first it's clarity in your energy absence of resistance is energy clarity which translates into clear feeling thoughts yeah yeah but but you know i don't i don't dwell in the past i i just i love when you say we're not talking about the past we're talking about now so I look forward and uh, and I always told myself and everybody I mean I, I have a life I, I, I I'm happy I respect their their reason in the past whatever was that well now you're activating some of that stuff again and this conversation is a little less clear than the one we had before it yes so uh, cleaning up my energy my my vibration being more clear cleaning up your vibration which means something simpler than that because cleaning up a vibration seems like a big task but just feeling better now seems like a simpler task because I feel better I feel good about them I I'm happy I see pictures so. but you see what you're doing here you're justifying how you feel which is not owning your vibration clearly if you're not getting what you want you're offering a vibration that's different than what you want so stop trying to make us believe that you're offering a perfect vibration because you're not you're offering a vibration that's different from what you want can't get around it you're offering a vibration that's different than what you want and until you offer a vibration that's in harmony with what you want you're going to continue to get what you don't want I agree with you but there is no assertion so I cannot make them I can be open but what you're forgetting is you put it in your vortex and heaven and earth are being moved to bring it to you and you're the only one in the way it's not them <laughs> we are looking at the whole scenario and we do not see them as uncooperative components only you all right you said it now they look like they're uncooperative because they're not coming but that's not what's really happening they're just knee-jerk responding to you and when you stop doing that thing that you're doing they'll stop doing that thing that they're doing and then your desire and your vibration will be the same and you'll be getting what you're wanting and it doesn't mean that you'll be problem free of course not because step one's a good step and when you're in step five there'll be lots of conversations really wonderful conversations that will bring clarity relationships never end relationships are eternal relationships with humans you know what they're for you know what their value is you know why you choose them you know why you sought after them you know why you want them from your broader perspective you want relationships with humans so that you can solidify your true relationship with your source and once they harass you into alignment <laughs> then you have the best relationships with humans then you really feel like your words are expressing I'm so happy and I just love that they're doing their thing I have no resistance about them whatsoever and they weave in and out of my life and I weave in and out of their life and we are just so beneficial to one another all right such a lovely thing